step to Christ, rejoicing in the Lord. But even here, Christians may have the joy of communion with Christ, they may have the light of His love, the perpetual comfort of His presence. Every step in life may bring us closer to Jesus, may give us a deeper experience of His love, and may bring us one step nearer to the blessed home of peace. Then let us not cast away our confidence, but have firm assurance firmer than ever before. Hither though hath the Lord helped us, and He will help us to the end. 1 Samuel 17 verse 12 Let us look to the monumental pillars, remind us of what the Lord has done to comfort us and to save us from the hand of the destroyer. Let us keep fresh in our memory all the tender mercies that God has shown us, the tears He has wiped away, the pain He has soothed, the anxieties removed, the fears dispelled, the wants supplied, the blessings bestowed, thus strengthening ourselves for all that is before us through the remainder of our pilgrimage. We cannot but look forward to new perplexities in the coming conflict, but we may look on what is past as well as on what is to come, and say, Hither do hath the Lord helped us. As thy days, so shall thy strength be. Deuteronomy 33 verse 25 The trial will not exceed the strength that shall be given us to bear it. Then let us take up our work just where we find it, believing that whatever may come, strength proportionate to the trial will be given. And by and by the gates of heaven will be thrown open to admit God's children, and from the lips of the King of Glory, the benediction will fall on their ears like richest music. Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew 25, verse 34. Step to Christ, page 125.